Hi there, Lee Griggs, I'm a rendering specialist at Autodesk, and I just want to go through this volume mesh technique, how to convert a poly mesh into a volume, and then use volume displacement to displace it using a texture map. So for example, we've got this head scan mesh with a volume VDB being displaced by the same texture map. It gives you this extra detail quite quickly and easily. There's also this written tutorial, so if you want to follow along, it's available for all the plugins with the same files. And there's also this page in the documentation, which I'd recommend you just go through. It just explains how to convert Polymesh into a volume. I'll put links in the description. Okay, so we start off with our new scene. Let's just start off by creating a sphere. And if we create a light, we need to create a standard volume shader and assign that. And you should notice it goes black because we haven't told Arnold the meshes of volume, so we need to go into the Arnold attributes for the poly mesh, go down to volume attributes, and just add some values for the step size and the padding. We'll talk about these in a second. Just going to increase the exposure of the light so we can see it better. So we go to the standard volume, and then we've got displacement here. We can connect a texture map. We're going to do it through a range shader, which will give us more control and allow us allow us to exaggerate the displacement effect and connect an Arnold image shader to the range shader and then just open up the texture you want to use to displace the volume okay so there we go we've displaced it and we've got a volume padding of one so it's going beyond the, the poly mesh itself we can increase that even further um, so now when we go to the range and increase the output, you notice it's it's displacing it even more. If I turn the camera around, you can see it there. So that's one. And then the more you increase the output max, the more it displaces the volume. So we go back to the poly mesh. If I reduce that volume padding, you notice it's reducing the displacement amount. The more you increase these val uh, the volume padding, the, the longer it's going to take to render. And the same, the step size, if, if you reduce the step size further, it will increase the amount of texture detail, but it will take longer to render, so just be aware of that. So that's volume displacement with Arnold. Thanks for watching. Bye.